What was the scariest moment? <laughs> The scariest moment? <laughs> I think it's working. I, I've been a closet minimalist up until now. So this is like, I'm so on board with all this stuff. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, you know. What the hell did I do? But it was the day that I put down my first installment for the tiny house build. The scariest part was taking the leap and trusting in myself that this was the right decision. And maybe you've decided that you just wanna like not do it the way that you've been doing it before because that way's hard. And I feel like even that, like there's a lot of empty space because we got rid of so much from downsizing yeah. before. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you that it's not gonna be scary and I'm not gonna tell you that it is gonna be scary because frankly, it might not be and that's okay. Nice. Cool. The reason it was so scary is because I didn't have a parking spot yet and I was trusting to faith that I would manifest a spot prior to the house being done. And I did. <laughs> what I am going to tell you is that we're here for you and that we're here to help you and we have put dozens and dozens of people through this journey of seeking something better. And not looking backwards, just knowing that when life throws you these opportunities, you just have to jump in and go forward and swim through it. Can't hear you, why? Can you hear me? There were some moments <laughs> of anxiety. There's this thing called the X factor and X is made to keep you where you were and keep you comfortable and just like blindly living in this place of mediocrity for the rest of your life. And X also looks like fear. I think there is, but you know how your brain is just... Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Have you ever like bought something and then you're like, what the hell did I do? If you make an unwavering committed decision to yourself to decide to change the way your life is, then yeah, that X factor is gonna race right in and be like, what are you doing? And the X factor is going to go looking for all of these little things to hold you back and keep you where you are. That's what it's made to do. I was confident in my builder and that I wanted to do it and that I would find a spot and I did. But what I do know to be true is that the best things in my life have happened when I recognize that pesky little ex and I decide to break through that terror barrier and I decide to break through that wall that I have created for myself, say yes to the next chapter, let go of the past and move on. My name is Adelina and July 8th, 2022 will mark the third year anniversary of living in my teacup tiny house. Today is the day! Oh, God. <laughs> and here you are and you've made a decision. <laughs> and maybe it's not easy right now, but it will be. Now that I've been living in my tiny house for three years. Congratulations to you for doing that. That's really cool. Yeah. And I know doing this on my own, I can do it. It's not only security and comfort, but it's also a heck of a lot of fun. Actually, I admire you for doing that. And um, every inch of this space is perfect for me. I love it. I don't think that I could ever live anywhere else now that I've been here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Yeah? Yeah, I'm ready. I hope you're ready, because it's going to be a crazy ride. Whew.